In today's video, you will not only get to see what the 1984 cast of Beverly Hills Cop look like then versus now, but you will also get a quick update on what they're currently doing. So if you're curious, hit that like and subscribe button and come with me down memory lane so we can reminisce about the good old days. Michael Gregory played a hotel manager when he was 40 years old. He is now 78 and has appeared in over 200 films, TV shows, and video games. Joel Bailey played Detective McCabe when he was 31 years old and he is now 69. He was a producer and director from 2013 to 2016. He is currently married and has one child. Damon Wayans played Banana Man when he was 24 years old. He is now 62 years old and is teaming up with his son Damon Jr. for a father and son sitcom at CBS. Bronson Pinchot played Serge when he was 25 years old. He is now 63 and recently starred in a TV series called The Mysterious Benedict Society and he will be starring in the new Beverly Hills Cop movie. Gilbert R. Hill played Inspector Douglas Todd when he was 53 years old. He passed away in 2016 at the age of 84 after contracting pneumonia. Gil was actually a former Detroit homicide inspector and later Detroit city president who occasionally acted. Frank Passe played a cigarette buyer when he was 37 years old. He passed away in 2022 when he was 75 following a battle with dementia. His last listed credited film was the 2015 Rocky spin-off Creed. Michael Champion played Casey when he was 38 years old. He passed away in 2021 when he was 74. Before his death, Hollywood took a toll on him. So he took a break, found sobriety, became a Christian, and got married. Paul Reiser played Jeffrey when he was 27 years old. He is now 65 and recently starred in the Boys and Reboot TV series. He is also set to star in the new Beverly Hills Cop movie and he's also doing a comedy tour in over 10 cities. Stephen Elliott played Chief Hubbard when he was 66 years old. He passed away when he was 86 years old from congestive heart failure. He's best known for his portrayal as the bullying millionaire father Bert Johnson in the films Arthur and Arthur II. James Russo played Mikey when he was 31 years old. He is now 69 and recently starred in the movie called Flag Day. He also starred in over 150 films over his career. Jonathan Banks played Zach when he was 37 years old. He is now 76 and recently won a Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actor and is set to star in an upcoming psychological thriller called Constellation. Ronnie Cox played Lieutenant Andrew Bogomil when he was 46 years old. He is now 84 and a musician that performs at festivals and theaters over 100 times per year. He has reportedly turned down most acting roles that he has been offered. Steven Burkoff played Victor Maitland when he was 47 years old. He is now 85 and just recently starred in the movie called Exorcist Vengeance and Prize Fighter, The Life of Jim Belcher. He is also a talented photographer and had has his work displayed in galleries in London. Lisa Albacher played Jenny Summers when she was 28 years old. She is now 66 and currently does not have a lot of social media presence. Her last known film was in 1992 called Live Wire and she also starred in a TV film in 1995 called 919 Fifth Avenue. John Ashton played Sergeant John Taggart when he was 36 years old. He is now 74 and he recently starred in a movie called Death in Texas. He is not only set to star in the new Beverly Hills Cop movie, but he is also going to be in Hot Bath and a Stiff Drink 2 and Hot Bath, Stiff Drink and a Close Shade movie. 
Judge Reinhold played Detective Billy Rosewood when he was 27 years old. He is now 65 and starred in more than 60 films. He just recently celebrated 22 years of marriage with his wife. And he also will be starring in the new Beverly Hills Cop movie. Eddie Murphy played Detective Axel Foley when he was 23 years old. He is now 61 and was just recently honored at the Golden Globe Awards. He is also going to play Axel Foley once again in a new Beverly Hills Cop, which is set to be released on Netflix. Thanks for coming down memory lane with me. And if you enjoyed this video, watch this one next.